Hey y'all, what's up with you? It's gonna be a late night message, all right? It's 10, 10 on the clock right now, and this is gonna be something about connection, relationship, and love. And the song I got for you was Slide by Her and YG, unless you just say H-E-R, I don't know. All right, but you might have long hair, or maybe you like long hair. So we got the Empress at the bottom of the deck, okay? Yeah, this is a very interesting connection, okay, that you got with somebody here. You are somebody's wish fulfillment, or that's what's coming your way with the Muse of Voices and the Nine of Emotions. That's uh, wish fulfillment. It's someone thinking about you, thinking about how you are their wish fulfillment. They see a lot of signs here. You may not have seen this person for a while, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, we got the Magician, Gemini, Virgo energy. But this person is like kind of being patient or they ain't saying nothing. I don't know. Pisces energy. Did I say that? Leo. Oh, they went through something here. Somebody's leveling up too. Dang, somebody. Somebody. <laughs> Okay, so I got to look more into it. What is this devil about? What's the devil about? Capricorn energy. So somebody's watching you. They might be going through some kind of ending or feel like they missed an opportunity with you. Okay. <laughs> or they don't. What's the devil about? Okay. Not fear. We got the four of swords. It's like somebody dreaming about you, thinking about you, okay? The lover's Gemini energy, the queen of emotions. They think you're so sweet, but they seem to be holding themselves back. Okay, so this deck is over here. I'm, I'm seeing this at the bottom of the deck, soulmate, so I'm going to see what comes out of this deck. What else needs to be known or comes out, whatever. The butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase. The phoenix and the runner, it's like relationship evolving to the next phase. It's like every time this relationship starts to evolve to the next phase, y'all run off, somebody runs off, hmm, stabbed in the back. Well, somebody doesn't seem to trust very easily. Golly, I can see why. Okay, girl with the snake, the golden mirror. So, they could have been dealing with a kind of narcissistic person, okay? Not today. All these came out. Oh, okay. So, they just possibly are ending a engagement maybe with a, you know, like a karmic relationship. So, <clears throat> now... They seem to want to, they're thinking about coming in your direction is what it looks like. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see. I'm going to use the Curious Creatures deck because that's my favorite. Okay, they may feel like there's some kind of blockage with the Seven of Wands. Hmm. All right. The Moon. What? Okay, Cancer, Pisces, Energy. The moon. There's something in the background back there. It's like a another wolf or something. Okay. The fool. Okay, so with the fool, we got Aquarius energy. Like they want to take a leap of faith or <laughs> hmm. Well, they got stabbed in the back by somebody. Dang, that's why they're... Okay, that's why they're like that. With the Six of Pentacles and the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Hmm. All this love they're feeling for you. That's crazy. Y'all check out that song, though. Justice, Libra Energy with the Lovers. Yeah, they're closing out some kind of cycles here. Gemini Energy. The Eight of Swords with the Star Magician. It's like this person is manifesting a new beginning with you, but you don't know it. 
maybe they don't know it. <laughs> maybe they don't realize they're thinking about you all the time and just kind of doing that. I don't know. Seven of Swords, not a sneaky bird. <laughs> what? Okay, Eight of Pentacles with the Sun. Hmm. I don't know. Something could be going on about work, but so they could be dealing with that. The Queen of Swords with the Ten of Wands. Oh, really? It just it seems like something is just a burden on somebody's back right now. Some possibly like feminine energy or this could be a burden on this feminine energy back but somebody is overcoming the like overcoming this devil energy here capricorn energy gemini libra aquarius overcoming this like getting out of there just in time getting out of some kind of situation just in time uh scorpio aries and then it's like the queen of pentacles and the queen of wands with the two of cups Maybe somebody looks like they're going to be getting some help from two people here. Hmm. Well, all right. So, the four cups. Well, that could be why, Um. you know, so I don't know if you haven't talked to this person or something. That could be why, because they've been going through it. So, with the three of wands, the queen of cups, and death. Um... Yeah, they've been going through it. Let me see what time it is, y'all. I got I only got a certain amount of time here, but I'm gonna get some more tarot from the light seers. Tell us more about this situation. Okay, so they've been going through it, whatever this situation is, and there could be some kind of you know, it's some kind of court situation, work situation, or something like that. So what's the uh dang three of swords at the bottom deck? So yeah, it could be like a family situation for sure. Okay, so what is their next movements then towards whoever this is for? The Hermit. The Hermit with the King of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Well, they're doing some self-reflecting about things they had to let go of. Okay, with the Hierophant, could have been a Taurus or could have been a marriage. Wow. So, they could have lost a good bit. Like, possibly strength. Leo energy. Y'all should, y'all might have Taurus and Leo in your chart. Like, or somebody you're dealing with does. Um, whoa. Hmm. Okay, so <laughs> somebody looks like they're getting out of this like situation where somebody was really controlling and or something like that and they're yeah, it's like they're leaving that situation behind here, dropping that um ten of wands and then going in like this could be you like hanging out with friends and stuff so that looks good leo aries sagittarius taurus virgo capricorn yeah this three of cups definitely looks like friends going out um hmm. use your intuition about some of these friends all right um okay but we got the six of wands some kind of also victory and some kind of romantic relationship is coming in too so it could be the one we were talking about before like somebody definitely could be getting single that you weren't expecting to get single or something with this nine of pentacles and the page of cups but like somebody's really going through it right now so if that's you you might not even want to deal with any, anything like that. Like, let's see. Queen of Swords with the Moon and the Fool. Hmm. Leo. Not Leo. Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, Cancer, and Pisces. All right, so... 
Okay, so this looks like, you know, you or this person that you could be dealing with is really closing out a, a cycle of dealing with somebody who could have been kind of cold and maybe secretive or emotionally manipulative, okay? But really, wow. This, again, moving towards new love here, like happiness or... Okay, so if this is a family situation going on, this could be like the renewal of something like that. With the Empress, the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups. It's like moving out of all, whatever all that stressful energy was. It's really, the energy is moving out, moving through with this Page of Swords and the Star. And there's this new beginning coming. That's beautiful. Okay, like there's a lot of healing going on here. So, this could be a healing of a family situation or something like that. It looks good, though. The Four of Swords and the Ten of Swords leaving something behind. This is like walking on a beach and the birds flying around you. But that's what I got, y'all. I'll be back in the morning. Y'all have a good one. Bye.